All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of John's Demo Room. I'm John with IUAT, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at this, the Scholar HD. Well, the Scholar HD is inside the backpack, but we'll get to that in just a second. Anyway, what the Scholar HD is, it's a camera device that can do um, both scan and OCR. And the neat thing about this one in particular is that it can do scan and OCR at a distance. It can actually do distance view scan and OCR, which is one of the only devices I've ever heard of that has that capability. So it is pretty impressive. And it can also scan down to really small font. It can scan accurately down to like six point font, which is just incredible for any sort of OCR and device. The camera on this thing is just simply amazing. Anyway, you plug it into a laptop and it works with a piece of software on your computer or laptop or desktop, it doesn't actually matter. Anyway, it is a really awesome device. So rather than me blabbling on about it, let's go ahead and dive down, take a closer look and see how she works. All right, so here we are up close with the Scholar HD inside of its backpack. It is a pretty nice backpack and it does come with it for free, which is a nice feature. Um, so let's go ahead, just take a quick look around. Pretty nice. And let's go ahead and open it up. Let's see what side we get inside the bag. All right. Okay, so first of all, we get some literature. Here are two um, keyboard shortcut or hotkey quick reference guides for you. They're even laminated, so that's really nice. So uh, if you want to increase your functionality or your proficiency with the Read It software, and here's a list of a bunch of different keyboard shortcuts for you to help you do that. It's a little faster than um, using the control panel, which I'll show you a bunch of in a minute here. So let's go ahead and set all that to the side. Here's your Scholar HD hardware user guide. So anything and everything you need to know about your actual Scholar HD itself will be inside there. And here's your user manual for the Read It software, which is going to be powering your Scholar HD. And so everything, everything you need to know about the uh, Read It software will be inside there for you. Okay, let's see what else is inside here. Um, there we go. We also get an installation CD here for your Read It software. And there is our Scholar. There it is, all collapsed up just like that. Nice and compact, very lightweight. Okay, and I'm gonna set that aside and we'll come back to it in just a second. And here, I think we get some other goodies too. Yeah, we do, we get a free pair of headphones and this, which is a little um, document alignment tool that you can set in the stand and it helps you capture different paper sizes. So you can just bump up your paper to that and it helps you with um, uh, make the adjustment for like say letter size paper or 11 half, or um, excuse me, not 11 half, but 11, 11 by 17, that's what I meant to say. So it's kind of a cool little tool and this just magnetically clips right into the base of the Scholar HD. Okay, so let's set that backpack aside. Take a closer look at our Scholar. So it just unfolds like that. Click, click. There we go. There's our Scholar right here on the face. Oop, I hit the camera. Oops, my bad. Here's a little lens cap so you can magnetically clip that right on there. And that's for um, near view scanning. And that is for your distance view scanning. And this is going to come out there, I use your power button up top. Here's flash right there. You can click this little button on the side and your flash pops up just like that. But most of the time you don't need flash to be of good light. And on the back here you have a screen. And if you want to collapse it back up, you just simply press in this. That swings in there. Press on this. That swings down there just like that and it collapses. Here's your USB for plugging into your computer. And here's a little spot where you can wind up extra USB cord or you can unwind it if you need more length. So that is essentially the unit itself. Okay, so what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna step out. I'm going to set up my computer, get this all connected, open up the read software, and I'll be right back. All right, so I've gone ahead, I've set everything up here. I got my Scholar HD set up. I got a monitor and keyboard and mouse here. I got my mouse down here. Um, I got a speaker for our audio and um, our Scholar is all set up. So I have that little magnetic lens cap right on here and that just clips on. That's again for this close view here. And then I also have this, which is that little um, document lineup tool I told you about. There's two grooves right here in the base of my Scholar HD, and this just magnetically clips into those grooves. And that's to help you line up either 8.5 by 11 for the closer groove or the further back groove for 11 by 17 inch documents. Uh, it just kind of helps you line those up real quick um, so that you can scan easier and just puts it kind of right in the perfect scan area. So let's go ahead and get something underneath here to scan. I just have the manual handy, so I'm just going to stick that right under there and click the scan button. Capture. So I'm gonna move my document around a little bit here and you're gonna see that while I'm moving my document, it actually won't capture my image for me. And the reason for that is that it'll actually wait until it gets a clear image. So I'm gonna go like that. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna let it go. 
And as soon as I do that, it's gonna go ahead and capture my document. And that's a nice feature to make sure you always get a nice crisp, clear image and your document isn't moving right. around. So it then says recognizing, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this. It says recognizing and then automatically starts to read your document to you. Of course, you can pause that if you don't want it to read automatically, uh, but it will begin to read automatically for you. So let's go ahead and we'll go through this different, this toolbar up here. Um, so keep in mind, everything I'm gonna do on this toolbar, you can also do uh, via keyboard shortcuts or through the menus up here. So let's go ahead and start with the first icon here. This is capture. So what that's gonna do is just capture an image from your Scholar HD like I just did bring it in, uh, scan it, OCR, and then begin reading it to you. Additionally, we do have the option right here for connecting to a scanner. So if you don't have the Scholar HD handy, you also could use a scanner to scan in your document and bring it in. Of course, we do recommend using the Scholar HD itself, um, simply just because of the high quality images it takes, um, but you could use a scanner if you need to. The next option here is to add annotations or notes. And so you can add notes to your document, have them on your notes in large print or high contrast and save together along with your document. Additionally, um, you can save your document as a read it um, software file, and then it'll be already OCR and bring it right back up inside here and you can read it, reference your notes, but you can also export anything you save here to things like PDF, uh, Microsoft Word, text documents, um, and also even MP3 documents. Uh, you can export that and have it even as an audio file. So you have a variety of different accessible formats. You can uh, export any document you scan to. The next on here is our view mode. So we can switch between the camera live mode or our document view like we have open right now. Then we have plus and minus for zooming in and out. We have our color modes here, so we can choose between full color, enhanced grayscale, or binary. So let's just switch to enhanced, enhanced grayscale. grayscale. Just like that. We can also invert those colors if we want to. Invert colors. Just like that. Now let's go ahead and switch back to full color mode. Color. We have a few different visualization or view modes, if you will. So we can do the original image like I'm on right now the original image with overlay Overlaid. digital text like that. We can do purely digital oh. text if we want to. We can do just one, one line of digital text that'll scroll across your screen. Uh, we can do a column Vertical. of digital text if you want to, or we can even do word. just one word at a time if we want to. So let's go ahead and switch back to original image Which. here. And um, I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click inside my document window. And when I do, you'll notice my mouse pointer turns to a high contrast blue color, and I can actually scroll around so I can just click the play and pause button and have it read from start to finish, or there's some keyboard shortcuts for navigating by paragraph, by word, uh, by sentence, all, all that kind of stuff. You can do navigation via keyboard shortcuts, or what I can do is I can just use my mouse here and I can go scroll to an area that I want to read and I can just simply double click on a word and it'll begin reading right there. Any of the visualizations, moving the large mouse cursor to the edge of the screen will allow you to pan or scroll. And then if I click again, it will pause. I can also press the space bar to play or pause if I want to or I can press Alt to get back out of there and I can use the click the play or pause button on my control panel as well. Additionally, I do have some navigation buttons here for navigating between screens if you have multiple documents open or if you don't have multiple documents open, I believe it jumps between paragraphs for you. But you can also go up here to navigation and it gives you keyboard shortcuts for um, navigating by letter, by word, by sentence, by paragraph, by page, or by screen. Go to beginning a document, end a document, go to a particular page. You can do multi-page capture with this, uh, excuse me, captures with this and capture like even an entire book at one time if you wanted to, or a large multi-page document, you can do that. Okay, so that's kind of the basics real quick. So let's go ahead and scan something at distance view here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove my little, my little uh, lens cover. I'm gonna point my camera over here towards the wall. I pinned up a document. Let's switch uh, back to my camera view here. Camera mode. Oh, I got it. There we go. Okay. Now let's go ahead and zoom in here. I pinned up a document over the top of this calendar. Let's zoom in. Zoom in a little more. I'm just going to move my camera here. Mm, there we go. I uh, pinned up one of our flyers there. I'm gonna zoom in on that. Okay. That looks pretty good. Mm. All right, that looks good. That's should OCR fine. I know my calendar says April. It's it's not April. That has not been updated. So I don't know whose fault that is, but definitely not April. Um, okay, there we go. That looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the capture button here. Capture. And it captures just like I would in close view, except for we're looking out at a distance. 
It's going to go ahead and OCR. Recognizing 1%. All right, and then I'm going to click in here and I'm going to navigate around my document here. So let's say um, I want to read, start reading right here. Our reader provides the user with a portable, easy to use text to speech experience using natural sounding voices. The user also has the option to choose between male or female voices and can select one of the. There we go, just like that. So just as easy as it is to scan a document right underneath it, you can also pretty much just point and shoot with this thing and you can actually scan um, at a distance view. Now with this thing, because of high, how high powered the Scholar HD camera is, um, it actually has, I believe it's 16 times optical zoom, which is a pretty ridiculous amount of optical zoom where you can really get good clarity at a distance. You can actually scan down to about a six point font very accurately, which is extremely impressive with this thing. I've actually scanned up like a newspaper which is like eight point font all the way across a room and OCR'd it and did a great job it is really wow. impressive what this guy can do all right so that is a uh, distance view scanning and then also additionally we can go up here we can control our um everything about our speech you know our announcement our punctuation we can choose uh, the volume the, the read speed uh, change our voice um, we also have some options for navigation which i went over um, we can also go into tools go to options here Options. And we have a whole bunch of different things. So appearance. under appearance, we can change our, our high contrast mode. The so black like, on um, right now I have it on black on white, but we could also do white on black, yellow on black, um, black on yellow, blue on yellow, yellow on blue, green on black, black on green, black on cyan, cyan on black. So we have a whole slew of different high contrast modes we could have changed to besides the white on black that I was using. Uh, we also under our controls here, Rules. we can choose a custom highlighter color. Um, or cursor color. So um, if you saw my mouse cursor in the document window when I was scrolling around and clicking on things, it's high, kind of a high, co high contrast cyan color, I guess. You could change that to a different color, like say red works better for you. You can do that. Um, you could also change the highlighter color. So the highlighter as it, as it reads by default also is kind of a cyan color. You can change that. Under interface, interface. here, you can actually choose the font size for your menu. So right now I have mine set at a 16 point font, but you can adjust that. So um, you could have it you know, bigger or smaller. You can also change the icon size. So my icon toolbar up here, I can make those bigger or smaller as well. So this software is pretty customizable and pretty powerful and together with the Scholar HD is pretty amazing. All right, with that, let's go ahead and step back out to FaceTime. All right, everybody, that does it for the Scholar HD today. Thank you very much for watching. If you would like more information about the Scholar HD, make sure to check us out online at www.irie-at.com. As always, thank you, and we'll see you next time.